Well, as you can see, my work is about essentially ex extending my own view of still life and also extending the view of the beauty of nature and flowers, as you can see in my work. Um, my work is just stuff that I wanted to paint on a canvas. Okay. Well, my art, basically the theme which I was going for is perception. So I was looking at it at two different aspects, so one of which was the physical act of looking, so like the physics that goes behind it, and the other one was how we perceive different members of society. And you know, I tried to bring out their emotions through my sketches. Okay, relationship and how there's like passion but also like destruction and how those can be portrayed sometimes in paintings, which I have done for a few of them. And yeah. It is centered around trees, as you may have noticed. Um, it's really an exploration of the complex form that a tree is. And it really doesn't seem that way when you think about what a tree is, but when you really get into what it means, it's the perfect arrangement of space that naturally occurs. Right, my art is basically a contemporary interpretation of classical ideas which were present in the Baroque, the Renaissance, and the classical antiquity. All my work embraces the idea of mythology in it. Uh, doing IBR was, I, I really needed some kind of creative expression while being so intense with all my other subjects, so IBR was really that way of expressing myself while in like the raptures of all the other subjects and everything being so intense is how I kind of escaped and it was just kind of lucky for me that I could still get as like assessed on that and that would still be a subject for me. Well basically it means what I've done over the past two years. Uh, basically I think it has sum up what IB art has done to me. Portfolio. Well, I guess for me, art is an outlet. That's what it represents. It's a way to express myself. Um, it's just stuff that I really enjoyed from my childhood, so it's in, in some ways it's quite personal. I think this one, the girl with the pearl earring, is the most I'm the proud of the most. It's just the way the painting went onto the canvas. The board is a bit different as well, and my tones, I was able to match them for uh, perfection. Yeah, so, it's Because I did, I, yeah, that was quite a lot for me. That was, I spent a lot of time. <laughs> Um, and then I feel like aesthetically also, as well as like the meaning, I feel like it does a lot for me personally. Uh, Favorite piece? I think it's got to do with, uh, you can't see right now, but there's some writing that I filled after with black, which is pretty personal, and that's, I have quite a strong link with this piece. I also just really like aesthetically, I'm not sure. The yellow and the combination of the blue really works for me. So I think that's my favorite piece. My favorite will probably have to be Icarus over here just because of the unconventional use of the medium. And the entire thing is based off of the Fibonacci sequence in a circle. So no matter how you rotate it, it will always be perfectly mathematically in balance. Okay, my advice, you should definitely take art, it's really yeah. cool, <laughs> but yeah, it's really fun, it's a good course, as you can see, um, so I definitely advise you to take it, that's my advice, yeah. Yeah, be organized, and don't do anything at the last minute, and don't buy glass frames, because those are the advice would be to take your time and find what it is that you want to do. It took me about a year to figure out that this was my theme, and it's something that you really grow and develop with. So if you feel like, if you really like something, uh, from the very beginning I really like trees, so I just went off on that. But if you feel something from the very beginning, it could be flowers, it could be self-portraits. Pursue what you really like and continue to explore it and push it to its limits. Oh, I do. Do not stress. Do not freak out. They will make it a huge deal, but if you really go with your instincts, you'll just produce work. You will produce work in masses, and it will go all good. Don't think too much. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, don't stress. Uh, get Know what you're doing. Midway through year 12, I guess it's a bit too late for that now. But once you know an idea, just make a lot of pieces similar to that idea. And, that, and as you do that, it's going to develop naturally, so don't be afraid of that. Work. I would say uh, to enjoy it while, while, while it lasts because I mean it's ended for us now um, but enjoy it and yeah don't get too stressed I mean we've managed I've, I've managed to do quite a lot in the last like month of the course and so <laughs> while you should keep going right now um, don't worry if, if you're like back a bit <laughs>